Hi there again, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again on my channel. It's time for another Dollar Tree haul. So I got this the original Cracker Tubs salted flavored. Actually I didn't notice that it is salted, but let me just see here. Sodium is 220 milligrams or 9% uh, daily value. So I'm going to just see here, carbohydrate is 21 grams, 7%. But I will just nibble on probably just a few pieces every, you know, every now and then. And I will dip it in one of these. So I have the nacho cheddar melt. And I also have the sharp cheddar melt. So it will be good to dip this into here. So I just bring some paper plate and then just spoon out some of this and then maybe get 10 pieces uh, or maybe 7 to 10 pieces at each time. So I got these uh, two boxes here. One has the open eyes when it's uh, fronting you and open eye you can open there. And of course this is a good way to say that this not where you open it, the eyes are closed. So on the side there are flowers and here a nest with a couple of eggs and a fox with a close eye again. It's a symbol that you cannot open it. The side has butterflies, and bird, and bumblebee, and then this is where you open it. I love it. And there are smaller ones there for the same price, so why get the smaller one? Just make get the big one. And I love using boxes, uh, decorative or not. I usually don't do uh, boxes that have that are kitty stuff but nowadays I'm really liking them. I got some items from the stationery or office supply area and I got the two Polaroid premium photo paper and it's 8 by 5 by 11 inch premium gloss paper and there are eight sheets in each and I think you can't beat that uh, for a dollar each pack. I got this one here and I'm gonna do one DIY on this one. I like that it's soft and it's it could be a cover but something similar and I don't want to duplicate what other people are doing out there who are also doing planner videos DIYs for covers so I'll just point you towards their channel rather than me repeating what they've done but if I can offer you something different or a twist of what they've done then I can just show it to you a couple of these I got um, originally when I saw this come out I wasn't really keen on it but I'm planning to do a DIY on this. So I got the two different, well they're not different designs, well somewhat, because one has a blue, orange, green, and then this one has a red, orange, green. So it just changes the first, I mean the, the last slap there. So this, it'll work for my office too because it's really green. Okay, I buy <laughs> placemats not just to use them as placemats but to be part of my DIY. So watch out for DIYs on this couple of placemats. I have hauled previous placemats but I haven't completed the DIYs yet. But stay tuned, I will be creating more. And this could be planner related but some of them are not planner related. So stay tuned. I like this color here, the black and white. Actually there was only one piece there. And then this one, I love this color. And they're available, this color, I see it all the time. Okay, got some stickers. I haven't seen these paper labels. 50 pieces here. So there are five or, yeah, five colors. So I'm thinking there are 10 sheets of these colors here. So I love this one. And I'm adding this to my stash. These are going to be on, uh, labeling some of the boxes or organizers that I have. But also will be used on my planners and got only three stickers here because again I'm cutting down on buying stickers because I'm using my happy planner in a different manner now it's more a scrapbook rather than a planner but I like this one these are huge these are actually not going to be on a planner but probably a card for a nephew and this is for a niece and this more girly and boy stuff combined here as well so this one has 50 counts these are six counts each so this fashion binder clips are so cute and the designs are really adorable. There's one in black with white polka dots. There's one in lime green and that lime green is just plain. And this one is more like a baby blue color. And there's a white heart there. I don't know if you could see it. And this one has a white on pink or pink on white diagonal 
depending on how you see it, right? And this one is black with silver or gray heart. And this one has, this one is a hot pink with hello. Sorry, this one is hot pink with hello. Okay. Love all these designs. They're so cute. And I like that this is small, not as bulky as the other ones that uh, come in that they sell at the Dollar Tree. I'll show you. I got this set here that's magnetized uh, binder clip magnetic tin. And I'm buying the tin, but of course I like the fact that it comes with eight binder clips. And let me just open this. And this is what I'm talking about that is a huge binder clip. There are other probably even larger than this. But this one is much larger. Look at the size than this one's here. So these are really just the mini fashion binder clips. Okay. And what I like about this one, because I've been using my um, Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook, then this one will just be perfect for my traveler's notebook it will not be too bulky and also I've shown also the shared planner that my daughter and I will be using and it's a recollections planner if you haven't seen that video yet please click on my DIY planner videos and that's where all my planner related videos are uh, located if you want to see them and uh, again for the smaller ones the personal planners this is perfect because it's not too bulky and of course, since we're on this one and we open this, this is the 8 count binder clips in magnetic tin. I like the fact that, again, it comes with its uh, 8 pieces of binder clips and this one is magnetized. You can just put this wherever there's magnet or anything that, mag that a magnetized item would stick to. I got this items here from the office supply area where also I got this binder clips and these are the thumb tacks and there are 300 of them in each one is in silver and one is in gold and I have a DIY that's coming up soon I have a lot of ideas for DIYs and of course uh, depending on the occasion or season that's when I make them so hopefully I can make them soon because I'm pretty excited about that and here, I haven't seen this before, but this one I find that the size is really adorable. The pages are so cute as well. Each page has these borders on top and at the bottom. So there's blue gingham and then lace scallop in red over it. And then, of course, each one on the right corner, uh, bottom corner, is um, a jar. So this is really very adorable for your notes and they call these purse pads because they're like purses and they close and open and of course it fits in your purse I'm trying to improve on drawing and doodling and I am going to be using you know the Dollar Tree uh, watercolors are cheaper of course than when you really buy those expensive ones so just for practicing I will use this ones for now and then I will buy the more expensive one later on and these are the glitters and these are good for card making if you want to embellish your cards. And these are glitter brilliance. There are five, as you can see here. There's turquoise or blue. There's lilac and gold and purple and then green. And you can make fun designs on this one. And you can include this also in your pocket letters. And I purchased this one. This is an extension for eyeglasses. They have different designs and I just got one and I have an idea for DIY. I'm not going to use this for eyeglasses, although I wear eyeglasses, but rarely at home now, only when we go to the movies and which is very rare um, or when driving. But this one I'm going to be using for another DIY and I'll just try first before I test out the other designs. Liquid adhesive and it is perfect for blinging <laughs> i like that they use that word blinging blinging now is a is a word and it's perfect for wood plastic leather paper cardboard and trims and i like that this has the fine tip so that you can just uh, be more accurate i think when you're putting your bids okay so it's at for adding 
embellishments okay and lastly I have this uh, with green tea extract vitamin B3 and vitamin C this is an age defy dark circle and puffiness serum I got one with the container that's green but it's for dark spots and I am happy so far because my I have melasma on my cheeks so I have been using that other one and I'm going to be doing a review once I'm done but this one also is for age defy dark circle and puffiness syrup so sometimes I you know uh, and probably not the only one that gets dark circles so I'm hoping this will help out okay so that's it for my haul today and thanks again for accompanying me and please click subscribe like and comment down below talk to you later bye bye